Hey everybody, this is Daniel and I'm the Salty Dog on this homestead. Today, we're gonna to be talking about compost and how you can grow a ton on your property for zero dollars. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. So here we go. So the first thing that we have here is the shavings from my chicken coop. That's gonna contain a lot of the green manure that we need. And that's also gonna provide some carbon. Um, zero dollars if you own chickens because you already have this in your budget. You're just re, re, reusing what you already have. So I did not pay anything for this pile because this was already in the budget for the chickens. This right here is my second ingredient. It's wood chips. I got these wood chips from Chip Drop. So once again, zero dollars i paid nothing for this and my third ingredient is high quality h2o mama said there you have it three ingredients and i paid nothing for them now let's move on over yonder there and i'll show you how i turned this now it's important to stick around and watch exactly how i flip this because that's an important part of the process yes i only use three um ingredients but <clears throat> but it's really, really important to see how I flip it in order to get the maximum uh, productivity out of the compost pile. All right, if we look at it right now, we're at about 109 degrees, I think. 108 degrees, uh, which is low for what I want to be doing. So that's why we're going to be turning this today. So the first thing I do is I like to take that out. I like to rake all this top part out, just like so, real easy. Because this top part right here is going to be on the inside uh, when I uh, pile this back up. So I just want to rake off that top part so I get down to the heat. It's, it's really warm down in there. Now that's doing really, really well. We still got some, some material from before that hasn't broken down yet. That's all right, we're gonna get it. Okay, <clears throat> now that I have that top layer off of there, all I do is I rake this top layer off to the side. All right, now that we got that out of the way, this next layer, I'm gonna rake right out here in front, okay? The reason why I do that is because I want the top layer to eventually go back in the middle. I want this middle layer to go onto the bottom, and I want that bottom layer to go onto the top. Got it all cleared out. That wasn't too bad, just a little bit of sweat equity. Um, so now I'm gonna put the bottom, well, I'm gonna put what was the middle in as the bottom. I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll bring you back to show you the middle section because that's the section that's kind of the most involved. <music> Alright, so now I start moving the top part into the middle, but I'll also be adding in some, some of the shavings from the chicken coop and some of my wood chips as well. Alright, so now put some of these wood chips in there.
And this is the area where I like to add some of this high quality H2O. <clears throat> and I'll save a little bit for the top. Uh, let me get my shovel. Good morning. It's the next uh, morning, and I wanted to come out here and show you guys the temperature. Is this? Let's see what we got here. All right, so we're at about one twenty, one twenty-five, maybe. So before. I left yesterday, it was at about 95. The goal is to have it reach a good temp within 24 hours. And so we are well on the way. All right, so there you have it. Um, pretty simple process. It takes a little sweat equity, but hey, that's all right. To me, hey, there's nothing like putting in a little bit of sweat equity on your, on your own land. Um, God has truly blessed me to be able to do this full time. Um, it's a dream come true, but I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to push out a lot of good content to you guys. Kind of like this video right here on my greenhouse setup. Give it a watch. Uh, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty entertaining. So y'all have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.